Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel where I showcase my lack of knowledge publicly. Today, we have our very first versus battle. We're going to be going SE6 versus the brand new Architect 6.5. Both of these offerings, of course, available on theknifeconnection.net. Don't get too hung up on the sheath systems. I, I wanted to do something different with each. Each of these knives are so similar that I kind of needed a different function in my gear collection to kind of justify owning both, really. But they are different, there are differences, so don't get hung up on the sheaths. We will talk sheaths some other point. This is sort of my, like, I'm separated from my my 72-hour bag, and uh, I want to go away from camp for a little while and kind of just check some things out, lightweight. So I would probably have some sort of um, long gun with me and or an appendix carry. This would be on my side and then nothing on my back, which uh, would be a relief. I always have something on my back when I'm out there. Let's just talk just the knives though, okay? So here's our SE6 in Desert Tan, or Dark Earth, excuse me. And this comes with the 3D contoured G10 scales direct from SE. I believe I bought this particular knife uh, at Knife Center, although I'm sure it's available at the Knife Connection. You can also do your Knife Builder, and uh, but you won't get these scales. You'll get um, the Knife Connection scales. We're going to talk about that too. Because there is a difference. These are a little bit thinner, and they do kind of have like a strong edge. Doesn't hurt your hand, totally fine, completely comfortable, contoured. I really like these lines. Kind of reminds me of the, um, oh, what's that company that makes the Dark Angel? Uh, it'll come to me. But very cool design. Very handsome, attractive looking knife. Again, in a flat grind with this kind of granular finish on the 1095. In my recent review of the Architect 6.5, I forgot to mention that it is also uh, 1095 steel. But this is heat treated by Rowan. This is by Tops. So depending on how you feel about both, here comes the Architect 6.5. Whoa. Just awesome. Awesome knives. Try to get through this one without cutting ourselves. But as we can see, we are virtually identical in size. The Architect seems to be just a smidgen bigger. If we line them up uh, like this, you can kind of see here at the end, just a smidgen bigger. And I know we're going off camera. Boy, what a like dual wheeled pair, huh? Oh boy. So let's start with the handle scales. And this is subjective because you can get these handle scales on this. These are actually SE6 handle scales offered by the knifeconnection.net. In partnership with Tops, they allowed them to build a knife that would fit these so let's start with the ends, pommel. The SE6 has a rounded pommel, you can see around my lanyard here. Uh, kind of plain Jane, just totally serviceable, totally fine. However, this does have a bit of jimping, soft jimping, and a bit flatter. I believe this would make for a slightly better hammer, hammer device for uh, pounding stakes and stuff, although I don't see a lot of difference in these uh, as far as, um, looks like the same stock as well, guys. Oh, nope, nope. The uh, 6.5 is a thicker stock. I don't have measurements in front of me, but this is a thicker blade. It does feel heavier in the hand. The SE feels a little bit more lively. Let's talk function. What are you using these things for? Actually, I think I can make this decision pretty easy. We're coming up on four minutes. Here's the deal. If you're looking for a knife that can double as a tactical blade, okay, it, you want at least a six inch knife, it, in my opinion, and please argue in the comments for the algorithm. If you're looking for just a tactical blade that could also double as a survival blade, I would go with the SE6. That grind is not going to make a ton of difference to you. You're not really going to be using it for a lot of bushcrafty stuff. It is virtually identical in size, slightly smaller, more lively in the hand though, and I think that's really important if you find yourself in a scrap -a -roon. But if you wanted one knife to face oblivion with, and you really wanted to make sure you survived, you want to be able to provide shelter for loved ones, to clean game, to baton all your wood, it would be the architect. So, I know this is kind of lame. It's the first versus battle. I'm going to call it a tie depending, okay? If you're looking, if you're leaning more towards tactical, the SE6 is still the winner out of these two anyway. I can think of other models and other companies that would give it a run for its money, but it's slightly thinner stock, slightly more lively in the hand, I don't want to say more slicey, 
because I think they're pretty equally slicey, but the flat grind would lend to a little bit more slicey. You do have more of a pronounced tip here. You have more of a clip point here. So yes, for that reason, I would go with the SE6 for tactical application. Now, if you live in the real world and understand that you are not an operator and you will not be involved in any sort of tactical application, most likely in your lifetime, even despite what you hear on the news, I would say the Architect wins. So it's not a complete draw. It's like... If you're an operator, if you're somebody that thinks that you might have to use this to defend yourself somehow, I can't picture how, you're going to go with the SE6. If you're a little more based in reality and you like to go camping a lot and you want a one blade option, you don't want to carry a piggyback knife, you really just want to have one blade to do your wood prep, you're not carrying a hatchet, anything like that, it's going to be this. So they both kind of win. SE6 to defend yourself if need be, architect to... Um, be your camp knife and which are you going to do more of guys you're going to be camping a lot more than you're going to be fighting ninjas okay my opinion now please again argue with me in the comments i do enjoy it um so a slight edge to the se on tactical application and a slight edge to the architect for survival application which is ironic i believe i have the sheaths inverted <laughs> but this guy's already kind of heavy so again, I, I think this stands on its own, and I think the SE does need a little bit of help with like sharpening. This would probably hold its grind a little bit longer just based on the saber grind, but I have nothing to back that up. Um, it's just kind of how these sheaths fell. I was just setting, setting them both up, and these knives are almost virtually interchangeable, I would say. I mean, both can do, either can do what the other one does fairly well. Um, they do have a different feel. This uh, this handle, the 3D contoured handle, is a bit more slick than the KnifeConnection.net custom handles. But yeah, guys, you're not losing with either one of these knives. It's kind of a weird first versus battle because it's essentially a tie. But again, if you're really into camping, you're going to go with the Architect 6.5. You get a little bit more reach out of it. You get a little bit better pommel for your stake pounding. You get the saber grind for your batoning. That's going to help. And if you just want something to you know, round out your Instagram picture collection, you want to fight your ninjas, uh, you need something for your tack vest, I would go with the SE6. Yeah, that's my assessment. I don't know what that taught you, but it was fun to look at them both side by side. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. You guys are trickling in at the speed of smell, but I do appreciate it. Go ahead and share this channel with friends if you want. I don't care. Either way, keep tuning in, and we'll see you next time on 5-Minute Knives.